So guys, for the first step, once you're on Roblox, we want to head over to settings. And then we want to scroll down and then make sure that graphics mode has been set to manual. And then you want to change the graphic quality to the lowest. But if you have some performance to spare, you can turn it higher. But I recommend the lowest. Now for the second step, you want to head over to your desktop. Then you want to head over to search and type in task manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to make sure that Roblox has been closed. So if you see Roblox open, you want to right click on it and then click on end task. Then you want to head over to the details tab and then do the same thing. If you find Roblox open, you want to right click on it and then click on end process tree. Now for the second step, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you want to open up GeForce Experience. If you don't have GeForce Experience downloaded, I'm going to leave a link in the description. If you have an AMD card, it will be somewhat similar to this. You can download your AMD software. So once you're on GeForce Experience, you want to head over to drivers, then you want to click on check for updates. Make sure that you have the latest graphics card drivers installed. Then for GeForce Experience, you want to head over to home, and then you want to find Roblox. You want to click on details, and then you want to click on the spanner. And then you want to change this to performance, and then click on apply. You have something similar in the AMD software for that as well. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates and do the updates that your computer may have. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search again and type in view network connections. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to find either your Ethernet or your Wi-Fi. No matter which one you have, you want to double click on it and then click on properties and then click on internet protocol version 4. You want to make sure that use the following DNS server address has been ticked. You want to make the first line 8888 and you want to make the second line 8844 and then click on OK. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in Roblox Player. You want to right click on it and then click on Open File Location. Then you want to right click on Roblox Player again and then click on Open File Location again. Now with the roblox.exe file, you want to right click on it, click on Properties, click on the Compatibility tab and then you want to tick Run this program as an administrator and disable full screen optimizations. Click on OK. Now you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.